Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unusual unboxing today. It's from the LVMH family, though it's not technically a fashion item. It's champagne, and this is actually just recently released. I had saw it on a blog a few weeks ago, and I think they started releasing it this month. So I was able to get my hands on a full case. This is the Moe Champagne. It's the Nectar Imperial Rosé, which is made in Epernay, where the Moet and Chandon, their cellars are, the champagne, that's where they're made. This is the limited edition one. It's, I think the difference is basically just the packaging and then plus the box is also a bit different. But of course you would only get this box if you purchase the entire case, which is a case of six. So you can kind of see the striping pattern a little bit. It's the varnish isn't as pronounced, but I think even here you can start seeing the diagonal lines, which is a signature design element of off-white. Although this specifically, this collaboration is with Virgil Abloh, not off-white, but you can see the care of label is also a design element of off-white as well as I think a Helvetica with the quotation marks for display only because you can actually open this which it explains here on the bottom kind of like a carton at the store so actually on this side is where you have this which I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna open for you and then these are just some fine details about product of France, of course, and then this was imported by Moet and Hen Moet Hennessy US. Each of these are 75 centiliters or 750 milliliters, which is the standard size for champagne that you would usually get. And these are actually in, in like a rose gold foil. Again, it's kind of hard to see depending on the lighting. You can kind of see it a little bit better when I tilt it. It's like a rose gold foil and it's here as well. You can open it from the top, but just for this, I'm just gonna open it here, which is where, where how you're supposed to open it. So there are six of the bottles. These are in a clear bottle because usually champagne is in a colored glass to protect the contents from light. And here you have one of the champagne bottles. You can see the color of the rosé champagne and then everything else is in white. And then on the side it says do not drop and it has the Virgil Abloh. Here's a closer look at the text. Do not drop in quotation marks. Moet and Hennessy, care of Virgil Abloh with the trademark. Epernay, France. Then this is 2018. And this is the US version. So you can see on the back where the imported from New York, Moet Hennessy. And that's pretty much about it. It also has limited edition on the bottom. And this, the usual seal is more pronounced on the normal bottles, but for this one, you can see it's almost tone on tone. It's like a very light gray where the wax seal design is. And this is the Nectar Imperial. So I'm definitely going to try, but I'm not opening it in this video. This video is just simply an unboxing. Since I have a case of six, probably will be good for a holiday party since that's coming up pretty soon. But I mostly just purchased this for the packaging because I really love limited edition packaging. Here for comparison on the left, I have a regular bottle of Moet Chandon Imperial Brut. And this is Rosé. As you can see, it's the same design. It's just the colors are different. This is a white foil. This is gold foil. And like I was saying, the wax seal here is red. This is in white, although this actually has more dimension. It has a rubbery feel, whereas this one is just paper. 
So that's a little bit special here. And then there's no label here. It's just white text printed on the glass. Whereas here you can see the label and the glass is colored. It's like a really dark green color. And on the back, they both have the label. This one on the side has the text, but this one, the regular bottles do not. And then since I have it, this is another comparison. This is not Mo this is not Moe in Shandon, but it's by the same house, LVMH. They own Dom Perignon. So the bottle shape is pretty similar, but everything else is different. And this is even in a, I think it's the green is slightly darker. Since we're on the subject of alcohol, I did also recently get a set of these limited edition White Walker, so if you watch Game of Thrones, you'll understand where that term comes from. And it's by Johnny Walker, so I mean, it's a play on their brand name. Plus, they actually stylized the, the usual logo as more of the Game of Thrones characters. And then I don't have an example here, but on the side, when you freeze the bottle, it'll say winter is here. And again, if you watch Game of Thrones, you will know what that means, especially with the last season coming up in 2019. So there's the message, freeze for an unexpected icy reveal. So it's a cool bottle. It isn't, it isn't like their top shelf brand in terms of the blend. I think this was only $40 because I think they're, besides their private collection, the blue label is the most expensive ones, and those, even for this size, is almost $200 per bottle. And this one I forgot to mention, the, for the, the one that I'm unboxing today, this one, the prices kind of vary, so I'm not sure exactly which is the right price, but I think the average is around $60 to $70 if you just buy one. I think if you get a case, it's closer to $50. And this one I picked up in when I was in in Paris. I got it basically just for the bottle. Again, this this one though is with Off White. It's Wild and the Moon, collaboration with Off White, and you can see the same text treatment here. Is Saint Honoré Mint Dream? You can see the quotation marks, and then you can see Off White there as well. The liquid in here was like a, basically it tasted like mint ice cream and that was also the color of the liquid. It was a pale green minty color. And then they also had some chocolate and almond bits. And it was, I think it was like 10 euros or something like that. So it was pretty expensive. And again, I mean, I was just really getting it for the bottle so I can keep it. So here is all six of the bottles arranged in a triangular format. I was considering maybe doing a giveaway for one or more of these, but it's just going to be really tough shipping alcohol. Plus there are some legal implications as well, even though, I mean, this one is really just more about the bottle for collecting, but in the U S you can't, you can't sell alcohol to minors under 21 plus for shipping purposes, you, I know there's very limited shipping options, plus you have to fully declare it and it's probably just going to be a mess. But anyway, I'm probably going to open a few of these during the holiday season. And you'll definitely see these on Instagram because I mostly just bought these for collecting it. And I'll definitely keep the empty bottles as well. So thanks for watching. I know this is kind of an unusual unboxing, but it kind of has to go with the theme of special collaborations and the LVMH family. Plus, I am getting a few items from the Louis Vuitton Men's Spring-Summer 2019 collection, 
which is now headed by creative director Virgil Abloh, which is the collaboration here. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.